Here we are at the Station Plaza Tasting Bar. I would like to <coughs> introduce uh, Gary Lip. He's one of the partners from uh, Coho Wines. Gary, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, it's my pleasure, and I do appreciate that Station has been uh, offering our wines to the good folks in, in Bronxville for a while, and hopefully it will continue. Um, Coho is a, a project that my partner, Brooks Painter, who's the winemaker, and I started uh, um, in 2002. Both of us have been working for other California wineries since 1980 and figured it was finally time all of our kids were squared away as far as their college and stuff. We figured, uh, well, you know, time to lose our own money <laughs> doing something we like doing. And uh, we started Coho. Um, the people always ask about the name, are we fishermen? And no, not really. Um, do we eat a lot of coho <laughs> when we can? Um, but we chose coho because the salmon are this amazingly uh, smart creature and, uh, and revered by the uh, indigenous populations throughout the, the northern Pacific Basin from central California all the way up through and around the Aleutian Islands and Russia and, and Japan. And uh, what they understood about the coho is what I learned is that you know they give their bodies to us and to, to enjoy and, and to bears and eagles eat them and, and their decomposing bodies on the shores uh, uh, enrich the, the soils of where they are. So they're a pretty amazing creature and we decided we would honor them and with our own commitment to do a better job maintaining habitat um, for the fish in Northern California and for all creatures that we kind of share the habitat with. So that's, that's what that's about. We're making um, five different wines, four of which I brought today to um, Station Plaza. And I'm happy to say that uh, Miguel liked them all, all right? Yeah, well, I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> so Evan, that always makes us happy. Um, we make two different Pinot Noirs because we really love Pinot Noir, and they're both very different. The Stanley Ranch is from um, Napa Carneros. It comes from 40-year-old vines. It's a, a clone known as the Martini clone. It has nothing to do with gin or vodka, but Louis Martini, who was uh, uh, in the 1950s, did a lot of work investigating what clones would work well in Carneros. And this was the one he chose for Pinot Noir. And there isn't much of it left anymore because uh, when Phylloxera came in the late 80s, early 90s, most people replanted with different Dijon clones. but. Uh, this vineyard luckily was planted on a rootstock that was resistant to phylloxera, and, and that's how we have a 40-year-old Pinot Noir vine. The Russian River, totally different. It, um, as where the, the Stanley Ranch tends to me have a, a lot of complexity, nice um, uh, spicy kind of um, uh, anise character and black cherry uh, in the nose and on the palate. The uh, Russian River, which is a much cooler area, much thinner soils, better drained, uh, different clones, clones from the Dijon region of, of Burgundy originally. And the, the you know, Russian River Pinot Noir has gotten famous and really loved because of the bright, rich, full fruit that it has. And this wine certainly has that with wonderful acidity. And they're both so good with dinner. Um, but they, it's funny, they, you know, because of the difference in their character, they go with different foods. A couple weeks ago, my wife and I had a little dinner party, and the first course was a lentil soup with black truffle oil. And before the dinner, we weren't sure which Pinot to do with which. We tried both. And the, 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 you know, the aromatics of the Stanley Ranch, we thought, oh, this is great. But then when we tasted it with the soup, on the finish, it, it put it off a little bit. We tasted the Russian River with its rich forward fruit. It was delicious. Then with dinner, we had some grilled salmon with a beurre blanc sauce over Brussels sprouts, and it was the complete opposite. The Stanley Ranch went with it amazingly. So, you know, that's why we make two. <laughs> Uh, what about for the guys that do it for a sport? Can we just drink it by the <laughs> Well, you have two hands, two glasses. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, um, but you might find popcorn. It goes, they both go pretty good with popcorn. Um, the Michael Black Vineyard's a wonderful little Merlot vineyard in an area known as Coombsville. Coombsville is just east of downtown Napa, and it's... Uh, um, really, uh, it's a wonderful little vineyard, very small, rocky, volcanic soils, very low yields. Uh, we normally get a ton, ton to and a half to the acre. And what, how that expresses itself in the wine is that the wines are really complex, really rich. You know, un unfortunately, we've lived through, even pre-sideways, a time where Merlot has 
gone down in the estimation of the American wine drinking public who doesn't know what Merlot is. I think often if they, if they understood that some of the great French wines from Bordeaux, particularly the Red Bank, the Right Bank, where the wines that have a heavy proportion of Merlot in them, they go, oh yeah, I guess I do like Merlot. But they don't know it well enough to recognize that. And uh, we feel very privileged that we're working with this exceptional Merlot vineyard that really makes Merlot that are complex, flavorful, rich, and great, uh, you know, great, great with, um, you know, rich, hearty, hearty food. So I, I hope you'd give it a chance, forget your prejudices, and, and give it a try because it, it's pretty spectacular. Oh, should we forget sideways? Yeah, forget sideways. A quick story: Virginia Madsen, from the star of Sideways, is a fan of Michael Black, the co -ho Michael Black Merlot, and has bought it from us. So <laughs> God bless her. I had to berate her a little bit, but uh, uh, no, she, she was, she's wonderful. She's also a fan of the Stanley Ranch. Now I'll probably have to pay or something. Oh well. <laughs> um, last, we brought with us um, our Cabernet from up on Diamond Mountain. This is a young vineyard. It's called Summit Vine Ranch. It's about 1,800 foot elevation. Uh, wonderful uh, vineyard. The aspect is kind of northwest facing. Um, it the, the the vineyard is exposed to. It's at the top. You know, almost the top of the mountain, but it's wide open and it it kind of a plain you know, plateau that gently slopes down and it overlooks Mount San Helena is kind of to the to the right of it and overlooks the Knights Valley, Alexander Valley. In the afternoon we get cooling breezes coming all the way from Lake Sonoma and the eastern Russian River. So it's got kind of the best of Napa and, and Sonoma counties coming into it, though it's certainly Napa Valley fruit. Young Vineyard, this 2005 is just the second year we've made wine from it. It was planted in 2000, 2001, and it, it's delicious. And, um, and each year we're seeing it's just getting more rich, more complex, and uh, it's fabulous. I, I do have to say so. We make one more wine that uh, some of you may have had. <laughs> yeah, uh, sadly it's not here today, but thankfully it's it's been all sold out. It's called Headwaters. It's a blend we make of Cabernet Merlot and Petit Verdot, and it comes from the Coombsville area, the same area as Michael Black Vineyard. And uh, um, we'll have it released again. The 2008 will come out in November, and if you've had the 06 or the 07, um, I hope you'll mark your calendars and and please come and ask for it uh, in early November of, of this year. So thank you very much. It's our pleasure to be here. Well, thank you very much for being in Station Plaza. Yeah. And uh, thanks again. Great. Wine's great.